Hi everybody, Eugene here with Darkroom Software. In this quick video, we are going to learn how we can add a print button to our screen template using the new e-delivery prompt. So this is a new feature, so you'll want to make sure that you are on the latest build. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is let's switch over to our screen template so we can configure it and click edit. Now I like to have a preview whenever I use this option. So I'm going to go ahead and click add and select output. I'm make it approximately the same size as my live view here. Okay, that should be good. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this button because it's already styled the way I want. I just have to update the wind shown and the actual command. So I'm going to duplicate it, drag it down, and we are going to set this to wind shown custom. And we're going to check custom e-delivery prompt. And the command is going to be send to print. And we'll click OK. And the last thing we're going to do is update the label so it reads print. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is duplicate that and add a done button. And the wind shown is correct. We're just going to have it set to e-delivery done. And what that allows us to do is click print and we can put, click print multiple times and then we can click on the done button when we're finished to end the session. And I forgot to update the text so we're going to go ahead and do done. You also have the option to add uh, send a phone or send an email and we'll add that in just a second. But next thing I'm going to want to do is actually configure some settings inside my output menu. So right now it's set to automatically print. I'm gonna uncheck that. And I'm gonna click the option, and this is what actually triggers the e-delivery prompt. You have to either have photo email one or photo phone checked or both. So if it's not checked, it will not display. Even though currently we're not using the, whoops. Let's go back to our screen template. It looks like I forgot to update uh, the output. This should be set to when shown custom e-delivery. Okay, let's test that out now. Okay, now all we see is our live view. We click the start button. It's gonna count down, take a picture, and then show us our output preview and also give us an option to print. So like I was saying before, um, we enabled the photo the phone option but because we don't have the button added it's not actually gonna prompt for a photo the phone so I'd click print and then I click print again if I wanted or click done and that will end that session and it sends it to my printer so main reason I wanted to show you before we added the photo the phone option that you have to enable it in in your output menu but if you don't add the button, it won't show up. So it's required to check one of these boxes, photo the phone or photo email to enable the prompt, but you don't actually have to prompt for an email or a uh, phone number. Switch back to our screen template, move our done button down just a little bit, copy and paste our print button and Change that to SMS and the command now to send a phone. And you could do the same thing for email as well, or you could add both or uh, either or. So we'll start the booth. And the reason why I wanted to show you this option specifically is with the e-delivery prompt you can click on the buttons multiple times and then click done when you're finished so if i want to send it to my phone 
and then click done, I can then print and then come back and let's say I have a friend that won the image also sent to them, they can pull that prompt back up and it would then send it to them and then we click done we we are finished i hope this has been helpful thank you so much for watching and i'll see you next time thanks again for watching here are a couple of videos that youtube thinks that you might enjoy be sure to like subscribe but more importantly if there's something you want to learn a little bit more about Comment below this video and I'll do my best to add it as a future video. I'll see you in the next one.